So now that we've uh, downloaded and installed IntelliJ, we need to point IntelliJ to the Java development kit that we downloaded and installed a few videos ago. So from the main IntelliJ menu, I'm going to click on configure and click on project defaults and click on project structure. Notice how this comes up automatically and says no SDK. And just a quick note here, if you haven't clicked on project to the left hand side, make sure you do click that. But this no SDK is telling us that uh, we haven't pointed to the Java development kit that we need to do so that we can run our Java programs. So in this case, we need to click on new and select JDK. Now you notice what happened automatically there, and that's that uh, IntelliJ found the current installation that I've got on my computer of the JDK, and I didn't need to change anything. You may find then what probably should happen is that the same thing will happen for you, and uh, you won't have to go through and manually navigate. But if you do have any problems, you can see here that uh, the actual installation of Java is in the library folder. This is the main library, not the library attached to your user account. So it's library, Java, Java Virtual Machines, and then the installation, whatever version of Java, of the Java JDK that we've installed, then the contents, home folder. And again, you can see the folder there, the left and the right there. But as I said, it automatically found it in my case, and it probably will for you as well. So click on OK. And noting now that uh, the project SDK is now valid, we've got something in there. That means that ultimately we're going to be able to run our Java programs you probably noticed that this changed as well. It was set previously to SDK default, but then you probably noticed that this 8 came up automatically. So in some of the other videos in this course, you might find that I've told you to type in or to select version 8 like that. Either way is preferable. You can either do that, or you can come back here and select SDK default and have it on Java 8. The main thing here is that you should see an 8 at this point, which confirms that we're using JDK 8. And we will need to do that because we're going to be using some JDK 8 specific settings throughout the course. So at this point we can now click OK. We've got our Java development kit installed. So we've just got a few other minor things to configure and then we'll be ready to start programming. So the last few things we need to configure now can be accessed by clicking on configure and clicking on preferences. Next we want to come down here to editor and come down to general expand general and click on appearance. Then you want to click on show line numbers. Click on that, apply. And then you want to come back up to auto import and I suggest you click on optimized import or optimize imports on the fly and click on add unambiguous imports on the fly as well. Click on apply, click on OK. So that's it, we've now configured IntelliJ for our Java programming. So let's now move on to the next video where we can actually start some Java coding. See you in the next video.